Welcome, this is Coincident, and I've played many video games during my youth. From shooters to strategy, from racing to RPGs. Today, as an adult, despite having less free time than before, I still vividly enjoy video games, and I want to share this passion with the world. Doom and Half-Life were the most impactful games in my life, but I also enjoyed my share of action RPGs, among which Diablo stood out. Back when Diablo 2 was released, my teenager self thought that that was it. The one game that I could play forever and I would be forever happy. <laughs> so naive. Of course people move on from one game to another and sometimes nostalgia gets us back to an old classic. However, lately when I feel the ARPG itch, Grim Dawn is my number one go-to game. Made by Crate Entertainment and published in 2016, it was built on the Titan Quest engine and is heavily inspired by the dark and gritty atmosphere of Diablo 2. Grim Dawn may well be the greatest ARPG of our time. Fight your way through hordes of ethereals, eldritch creatures and the fanatic worshippers of the Cult of C'thon in a world with a captivating lore and many Lovecraftian resemblances. To save humanity from the brink of extinction, you must carefully pick your allies and your enemies because every choice you make permanently impacts your reputation and the outcome of the game. With the double class system of Titan Quest and 9 distinct masteries, you have a total of 36 possible classes. And you can often build each of those classes in 4 or more different ways depending on where you spend your skill and devotion points resulting in hundreds of different build combinations. Collect thousands of items of loot, each item with different rarities, attributes and effects, all of which have been micro-balanced over years of development and free updates. Some of the rarest items give you unique skills, others have powerful conversions that can, for example, make all fire damage become lightning. And suddenly, the number of possible builds you can make multiplies. Since 2016, two huge expansions have been released and many free updates after that, including new areas to explore, quality of life features and other balanced changes and improvements. The game supports easy modding and the community has already created hundreds of mods. Want to play with the Diablo 3 classes? What about Titan Quest? Maybe all of them together? Want to level up faster, slower, more loot, less loot? Whatever you can imagine, there is probably mod for it. Personally, I don't feel that I need mods and I greatly enjoy the vanilla Grim Dawn experience. There's so much to do, so much to explore, so many challenges to conquer. The action is gory and addictive. The dark atmosphere and the beautiful soundtrack will keep you hooked for hours. In Grim Dawn, you will travel through grass, sand, rock and snow as you reinforce the last groups of human survivors who had lost all hope. You will fight your way through mountains, battlefields and city ruins as you explore a massive, handmade world with an extremely detailed main storyline that will entertain you for hours on end. And if you dare seek a harder challenge, just step away from the main path and look for the secret side dungeons with rich rewards and deadly optional fights. Dare to enter the one-way, roguelike dungeons where death lurks at every corner, where town portals are disabled and the only way out is through. Test your build crafting skills by engaging the celestial bosses that will demolish your character in two swings. Go back to farming, level up, craft and upgrade your gear and maybe next time you'll stand a chance. By now, you've reached the endgame. It's time to enter the crucible arenas and the randomized maps of the Shattered Realm, where you will fight wave after wave of increasingly difficult monsters until you perish, or unlock the greatest of treasures. Now, it wouldn't be fair if I ended the video here without talking about the number one critique of this game. Grim Dawn is complicated. There's many classes, skills, devotions and many different damage types and resistances. Some people give up on the game within the first hours because learning all of this can be overwhelming. 
every time I get back to Grim Dawn. I really struggle for the first four hours or so. I feel lost and confused, but I keep on playing. And after about eight hours in, I finally get to grips with the game mechanics again. And then it feels like I can really master the game. And that is so satisfying. So don't push yourself to try and learn everything on the first few hours. The beginning of the game is easy, so you can casually kill mobs as you play through the campaign and slowly learn more and more stuff as you progress towards more and more difficult encounters. This steep learning curve may be the reason why Grim Dawn is not as popular as other titles. But the complexity is necessary. It's a trade-off, actually. The early game experience may feel confusing so that the end game can have an immense variety and depth. In an industry full of overhyped, broken games with a sinful amount of microtransactions and other immoral monetization practices, Grim Dawn is a jewel in the mud that I believe many RPG fans have yet to discover. It is comparable but different to Path of Exile in many ways. If what I just described feels like your cup of tea, don't hesitate to try out Grim Dawn. That's all, folks. See you later.